Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. Ba-boom, Art of Comics, you're here. This is my channel. Today, we're just gonna do a quick recap of what I've been up to, what's going down with me in the next week or so. So for me, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I'm up to. Uh, I did finish up eight pages of this new book called Boaz. This is gonna be a totally experimental sci-fi alien fantasy story a la old issues of heavy metal so this is going to be alien world and um i inked this guy up and now we're going to start doing the coloring unlike some of my other coloring i'm going to do this all digitally so i'm going to color this digital and some of this is actually kind of fun i'm really kind of playing with a lot of different um splatter techniques and just kind of really going abstract and expressionist kind of stuff um so this is a little battle here and uh yeah so this is kind of fun this took me a couple weeks to finish up and now coloring should be a lot of fun there's a lot of if you can see there's a lot of um little line work here and actually what i did was for this i made i'll show you guys some watercolor background stuff so i did this just in watercolor and I'm going to digitally put this in on some of the backgrounds in the skyline. So the sky will have this kind of a greenish blue background. So we'll have a little bit of actual watercolor in the backgrounds. I'm really kind of looking at things like Drew Lay's Salambo and especially uh, Richard Corbin's Din kind of as a template and guide for the kind of the color scheme and stuff. So this is really just for me for fun. I just want to do something fun and crazy, and I'm excited about it. I'm also coloring with watercolor um, Cannibals on Mars, and so that's with uh, two of my buddies, uh, Tony and David, and so I'll be working on more of those coming up. The other big thing I did um, was, was I have 50 pages of Shangri-La finished. Now, when I say finished, I'm never happy. So this is finished up to, it's colored, it's lettered, it's ready to go. And these are basically my proofs that I'm now gonna go through and rejigger. So um, everything that's here, I'm gonna now go through this with a red pen and see what do I like, what do I don't like, what do I wanna keep, what do I wanna change. I'm going to suspect maybe 30% I'm gonna change, which is a lot, I know. But you know, this is kind of a learning experience and I really want this to be good. So there's a lot of stuff here that I like, but there's some rough things. And so the panels that are rough, the, the rendering, the things like that, the colors, I'm just gonna go in here and redo. So I gotta go through this. This will take hours just to like go through this. But what I'm doing is, since I just did this like last week, I'm giving this a little bit of time to marinate. So it's kind of like one of those ideas where when you're writing a script, you write a first draft and then you lock it away in a drawer, right? The idea is you put it away in a drawer for a couple weeks and then you go back and you read it, kind of with fresh eyes, that kind of thing. So I'm letting this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna go back and now read it with a little bit of a cleaner uh, perspective and kind of fresh eyes and see what is working. Also just from a storytelling perspective I worry about some of the scene transitions and uh, if it becomes a little too meandering and if it's not plotted out better. So I'm thinking about that too. The template for this whole concept is really give that uh, semi-autobiographical kind of story like blankets which I love or something like that so really meandering is okay but I do want it to kind of have certain points and so that's where this is so I got this guy going I got coloring Boaz I got cannibals on Mars that's what my big kind of push this last week has been um, I've also been starting doing this um, Automatic drawing and so you know I've been doing this automatic drawing which I'll do a post There's actually a video of that. We're going to talk about that. These are some of the Automatic drawings that I've been doing 
This has been just a really fun, kind of a mental exercise for me. I do it every night for about um, 15 to 20 minutes. And really the whole idea is to let your mind relax and calm down and kind of unlock some creativity. Um, you don't have a plan, you just start drawing. And there's actually some fun little moments here that like, like I really like this little bit here that just kind of came out of nowhere. And um, maybe I'll use it in something, I don't know. But I like to do this right before I'm about to like work on the boards. So right before I'm about to do some art. So I might do a little bit actually tonight just for fun. Um, so I've got that going, that's been fun. There'll be a video of that coming up. Um, as far as what I'm reading, just quickly, and I'll do a video of this actually. Uh, I got these at Spiro's Heroes down in LA, uh, Martial Law. So this has got Pat Mills and Kevin O'Neill, which I'm big fans of from back in the day. Uh, British creators, you know, Pat Mills did. Slain, a lot of 2000 AD, uh, Judge Dredd, things like that. And <clears throat> Kevin O'Neill, of course, uh, drew one of my favorite comics of all time is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So big fan of that book. So I picked these up. These are a lot of fun. Uh, super fun, super British 80s. I love it. So we're going to talk about this. I've also been reading uh, Invisibles, rereading this. This is volume three. I love this book. I really, really like the writing in this book. And I want to do an episode soon about the writing. We're not really going to talk about Phil Jimenez. He's great in here. Uh, but I want to talk about the writing how Grant sets up story, how he sets up the plot, and how the transitions work with the scenes and with the whole story. So I'm gonna talk about this. I need to like write this out and kind of really map this out to talk about it. So that's fun. And then just for fun, I've also been reading Powers. As you know, I did a video about Powers recently. Um, I love this, so I'm just rereading this stuff. So this is fun. Um, I also read uh, Zooniverse, which is this kind of a strange, another book, this is by Eclipse, uh, kind of a weird, strange, like sci-fi story. Don't know what to make of this quite yet. I just read the first issue, but uh, I like the art. Uh, I like the the brush and quill quill work, so it's really nice line work, really interesting character design stuff, but I'm not sure, jury's out. And then the other video, which will be coming out soon, is about this bad boy. Wally Wood, a comic master for sure. Um, and this is his kind of, uh, the series that he did for the GIs that went in a uh, periodical that they would get. And it's books and babes and guns and hard boiled stuff, you know? And uh, it's actually really, really fun. And if you know Wally Wood, it's just designed so well. So that's what I've been kind of reading. Um, Netflix, I watch TV, that kind of stuff. I've watched um, Pandemic on um, Netflix, which was actually a really good series. I think it was like six part. That was fun. I just started Lock and Key, and I love Lock and Key. I have it over there. Uh, Lock and Key is one of my favorite comics by Joe Hill. Um, so I'm watching that show, and I kinda, it's kind of fun. So I dig in that. Uh, Music-wise, doing a lot of podcast really not too much music the country i'm still listening to that country uh, ken burns cds i love that and now the future let's talk about this week real quick uh what's going on so i'm gonna start coloring uh boaz i'm gonna get at least a couple pages in this week on thursday i'm flying to washington dc for katsukan katsukan is a anime convention I'm going with the executive producer of the Hidden Frequencies podcast. Now, if you might remember, Hidden Frequencies is that podcast radio drama that I wrote an episode called Father and Son Outing. I wrote that episode. I was there for the recording. Great experience. Definitely check out the Hidden Frequencies podcast. They're flying uh, the executive producer, Mick, the creator of the show. I'm going out as a backup techie support guy. They're gonna, we're gonna record an episode, a live episode there. Uh, and so that's a lot of fun. So I'll be in DC, I've never been. So please comment below, let me know what you think about DC. Is there any comic shops I need to go? Is there any food places? I wanna hit Lincoln Memorial and George Washington Memorial, go across the mall, 
I would like to hit one or two Smithsonian's if I have the time. Um, I'm thinking about doing the art, the, the art museum, because uh, I'm into that. I might do the natural history. I don't know. We got a great one here at USC in LA, so I'm not that thrilled about seeing dinosaur uh, skeletons. That said, they're pretty awesome. So I don't know. Then I fly back. So check this out. I'm flying back home to California Sunday night. I'll get home around one o'clock getting my butt up early in the morning, and then I'm driving out to Little Rock, Arkansas. Why am I going to Little Rock, Arkansas? Well, it's because I'm working on this book, Shangri-La States, which I don't know where the pages went. Uh, so I'm working on Shangri-La States on this graphic novel. It is set in Arkansas in the 80s. It is set in a trailer park, and I want to do more research. I don't want to depend on Google photos, images. I want don't want to depend on old photo, you know, old Polaroids I have from back when I was a kid. I want real pictures of the trees there. I want real pictures of the trailer parks of the things there. Now I know it's been 30 years since 1982, but I got to find out what's going on and I want to know how it's changed. Uh, I guess it's been 40 years since then. So I'm going there to Arkansas. I'm driving from Ventura, California. In one day, I'm gonna go all the way to Albuquerque, spend the night there, go then to Little Rock, spend the night there. I'm gonna go to Pine Bluff, Little Rock, all those little places, maybe some national forest too, because there's a scene in here about camping. So I'm gonna hit this up, take a lot of pictures, just do some research, talk to people if I can, get some sense of the culture. Um, so I'm not just using my memory. I also want to go to Memphis. I really want to try to go to Memphis, which is actually only two hours away. So I'm going to try to hit Memphis up to just like a quick half day trip. After I'm done with Arkansas and the natural state, I'm going to get my butt back home. Again, probably stop in Albuquerque because that's the spot. Then I'll stop in Phoenix and then come home. So it's two days to get to Arkansas, two days to get home. I only got two days there. It's like two, two, two. Um, so if you guys know places, comic shops, national parks, Native American places, museums that I need to hit in Phoenix, in Albuquerque, in Little Rock, in Texarkana, Fort Smith, any of these places, Please comment below, let me know, because I'm going. If you have a couch <laughs> that you want me to stay, I will bring some comics and give you Prime Missouri or whatever. Um, if you have a place to stay that I can stay, let me know, comment below. We only have a week left. Um, get it now. If any, any Anything you guys, any info, let me know, please, because I'm going, and I haven't been since I was a kid. So I don't know the comic shops. I don't know the places to go. I don't have an itinerary necessarily, and I don't have a place to stay. I'm just going to hit cheap hotels. Uh, but if someone wants to let me stay in their home, I will do it. So let me know what you guys think. I'm excited about this trip. I will be recording once or twice. I'm hoping to have some sort of a little video package of that those days and post it up. So I'm hoping you all guys see some kind of somewhat live action. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I want a thousand subscribers so that I can do those live video feeds on my phone. Um, you gotta have a thousand, that's the rules. So there's my plans, that's what I'm doing. Very exciting, a lot of stuff. I'm going all the way to DC, coming back, going to the south, coming back. Hopefully I won't die or get sick and potentially I could get sick. So I'm hoping not to. That's with me. What's going on with you? Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great day and take care.